Hi, boys and girls. Do you want to see something special? Take a look at this teapot. This teapot used to belong to my grandma, and it's really old, and it's very important to me. Now take a look at this little guy. This little guy used to belong to my kids when they were little. He brings back a lot of happy memories. You know, things that are special or important to us are things that we treat very gently. We're careful with them because we don't want anything to happen to them. I'm sure you have some things at your house that are important and special to you too, right? And I bet you treat them extra gently. Let me ask you, how about with the people in your life? Do you treat them gently too? I'm sure you've heard your mom or dad say to you, be gentle. And usually when they say that, they're talking about with your hands, right? Like maybe if you're at a store and there's breakable things around you, or maybe when you're playing with someone younger than you are, they might say, be gentle. They're just reminding you to be careful because there's things that could break or they don't want anyone to get hurt. Okay, now how about with your words? Are you gentle with your words? Even if you're angry or frustrated, do you choose gentle words when you're talking to other people? Our words are very powerful. We can either choose to say something that sounds mean or angry or harsh, or we can choose to say something that is calm and gentle. Our words and the sound or the tone of our words are important. Listen to these two ways that I'm going to use some words. If your mom or dad say, you need to apologize to your brother or your sister, you could say, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do that. I, I'm never going to do that again. Or you could choose to say, I'm sorry, and you could stomp away. Do you hear the difference? The first way that I said, I'm sorry, is the way that I, I chose a gentle response. The second way that I said, I'm sorry, did not sound gentle at all. You know, some people think that when you choose to answer someone or respond in a gentle way, that you are weak and you're just giving up or giving in. But that's not the way it is. When you choose to respond to a situation with a gentle response, then you are actually very strong. You are using a power inside of you to make a choice. Make a choice about the way that you want to handle the situation. And in God's eyes, the gentle response is the best response. So if you haven't already figured it out, our fruit of the Spirit this week is gentleness. And today we're going to learn what this word gentleness means. If you have your Bible nearby, go and get that. And we're going to open up our Bibles to almost the center of the Bible. And we're going to look for the book of Proverbs. Now we're going to read a verse from Proverbs 15, verse 1. In the Bible it says, A gentle response will calm a person's anger, but an unkind response will cause more anger. All right, so today... Let's find out what happens when the Holy Spirit fills our hearts with the fruit of gentleness. We can choose to answer or respond in a way that is gentle, or we can choose to answer or respond in a way that is harsh or mean. The Bible tells us that if we choose the way to answer that is gentle, and calm, then we can help a situation get better. And if we choose to answer in a way that is mean and harsh, well, we are going to make things worse. Let me give you another example. Let's say that your friend is angry and your friend says, why aren't you listening to me? 
Now you could answer with, because I don't want to. Or you could answer with, oh, I'm sorry, I was thinking about something else. Can you tell me again? I'm listening now. Do you hear the difference? If we choose to answer someone in a harsh, mean way, we're probably going to make things worse. And if we choose to answer in a calm, gentle way, we are probably going to make things better. And of course, God wants us to try to make things better. You know, as we grow closer and closer to God, the Holy Spirit will help the fruit of gentleness grow inside of us. And then we can show that to other people. We can show them that we are gentle and that we can help to make things better. You know, God shows us his gentleness every single day. God loves us and he cares for us and he forgives us and he gives us his grace every day. He tells us that when we take on a heart of gentleness, that we can be a part of his kingdom forever. In the Bible, in the book of Matthew, Matthew 5, verse 5, the Bible tells us, blessed are those who are gentle. They will receive what God has promised. How nice is that to know that when we practice gentleness with others, that we are blessed and that we are promised to be a part of God's family. Okay, I have a little homework for you today. I'm going to tell you another verse from the Bible. And this verse comes from the book of Philippians, Philippians 4 verse 5. It's real short. I'm going to say it first, and then I want you to repeat it after me. Let everyone know your gentleness. The Lord is near. Now you try. Let everyone know your gentleness. The Lord is near. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to find three different either people or pets or stuffed animals, I want you to say this verse three different times today. Let everyone know your gentleness. The Lord is near. Okay, you hear that? Then I want you to find three different ways that you can share that Bible verse with the people in your family, okay? Or your pets or your stuffed animals, okay? All right, boys and girls, let's do a thumbs up. Thumbs up if you are going to try to be gentle with the words that you say. All right, thumbs up if you are going to try to be gentle with the sound of those words that you say. All right, thumbs up if you are going to try to be gentle with your hands. Good, all right. And thumbs up if you are going to try to make the choice to be gentle with your family and your friends and all the people in your life. Awesome. All right, boys and girls. You know, God is gentle with us every single day. And with the Holy Spirit in our lives, we can practice that fruit of gentleness. We can show that we can be gentle with the people that we know too. All right, boys and girls, let's pray. Please fold your hands. Thank you, God, for your gentleness. Thank you for your loving and caring way. Thank you for your presence in our life every single day, God. Thank you for being patient with us as we seek your help to be gentle. Help us to learn that gentleness through our words and our actions with the people in our lives is so important. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, boys and girls, I hope you have a great day. And don't forget, be gentle.